Howdy partnoids, welcome to another CMB Minecraft tutorial. Um, yeah, Notch broke some of my stuff. Uh, so, I'm going to do a little update on the retractable lighting uh, with a new design. Because basically, now that Glowstone uh, doesn't take a current, if I give you a little example, uh, it, it's basically a transparent block now. So, uh, brilliant. Cheers for that, Notch. So, this will not be powered now, whereas beforehand that would take power through there. So, the old design for the retractable lighting no longer works in Release Candidate 2. Um, so, I'll show you how to make all three uh, variations. So, you've got your floor lighting, wall lighting, and ceiling light here. And then I'll also show you how to make this little rig that I've come up with for strip lights as quite a few people ask me about that so uh stay tuned hockey um let's start with ye olde ceiling light so this is the new design and uh it's nice and small smaller than the last one and uh it's only five by two by two which is sweet so you're going to start with three blocks like that and then two blocks on the diagonal torch in the middle repeater there repeater there and then dust in the corners then you can put a normal piston there cut that block out for now and then just put a sticky piston like that on the side of this torch with a normal block in there then you put a torch there and a torch there glowstone and a normal piston like that and that's the whole setup done and your input is this block. So as you can see, the swap over, if I take that out. Now, if you guys wanted to power it somewhere else, so leading a line off or whatever, all you've got to do is just get power into that block. So wherever your button may be, on the wall probably in the room, um, it will look something like that. And then obviously you can lead this wherever you want. So that is the new ceiling light done. And I'll show you the others. Wall lights. Uh, this is this one's slightly bigger by one. Uh, just comes out three rather than two because obviously you're pushing it sideways, so it's sort of fair enough. And again, we're working on the same idea. So torch with two repeaters facing at opposites into a block. And that's going to have two bits of redstone leading out like that. And then you're going to cut that redstone off with a block, and you're going to put a torch on the side there. Then sticky piston in the center with a block in the front and then if I don't smash up my own work you'll have a piston there uh, glowstone block there and then a piston facing in as well so that's set up and then your inputs back here it's always this torch in these setups so that's the wall light and now I'll show you the uh, the floor light Okay, so this is nice and small, this one as well. So this is, again, the 5x2x2 five by two by two job. And it all works off this idea here. So with the torch, the two repeaters with the blocks. And then you're going to have a torch there, torch there. Dust on top like that. So you should have that set up. And then, again, super simple. Just put in your piston there. Sticky piston facing up. And then you're going to want to put your glowstone block like that. Uh, in fact, if we take that off. So glowstone in there. And then whatever your floor is made out of. And again, your input is just going to be in here. There she goes. Hot guy. Uh, the old strip light. This old chestnut. So a few guys asked me to do this one. So it's a multi-block swapper. And uh, yeah, again, it works on pretty much identical principle as the last ones. All I've done is just extend the signal out so you can incorporate more blocks. So this is going to be your ceiling, obviously. So you can make it as high as you want, etc, uh, etc. Et it's up to you guys. And then you're going to have to start with five blocks in a row like that. With two blocks up on the end there. And then I put my pistons in first, so like that, and like that. 
and then this is a five piston example but you could extend this out to 16 without having to bother with extending the uh, signal and stuff so that's just a heads up for you guys on that one then you're going to put your sticky pistons in so cut that out put a torch there and then piston like that and then just bring it out take that torch out for now and then you're going to put blocks on top of there blocks all the way and then one extra out like that and then mirror the other side here so you've got this gap on the first one and then you're going to want to build up two and cut that block out so you've got something that looks like that on both sides and then also you're going to put a block in here on the side of the first sticky piston like that so it should look something like that without having any power then I put my blocks in so down here you're going to put your glowstone and then whatever your ceiling's made out of in front of the sticky pistons and then you've just got to put your redstone in so dust's going to be all the way there dust on the top here and same this side and then you've just got to put two repeaters uh, there like that and then another two there like that so they're just put facing out um, and then a torch there a torch there and a torch there and that should be it so if I cut that block out and then this is your input again and there she is so that's just an update for you guys on the old retractable lighting now because obviously minecraft's out on the 18th i believe which is only a few days away um and i'm not sure what notch is going to do with redstone uh in that time he has obviously changed so we've now got this these dots here and if you put a repeater with redstone like that it's no longer a cross so that's screwed up the um rs null latch array thing that i showed you guys and it's also screwed up the back cave entrance i believe so i'll do a fix for that probably uh, in the meantime but uh probably not going to release anything brand new tutorial wise just because i want to wait for the game to come out before i release stuff uh, just in case it gets broken in the next couple of days so um yeah i'll still put up a few videos probably with fixes and i've got a couple of projects that i'm working on uh that I'll probably show you. So hopefully that sorted you guys out and uh, cheers for watching.